Meanwhile, a longtime Denver sportscaster is playing against his toughest opponent yet. He's battling a rare, incurable disease. Mark McIntosh is sharing his story with our Brian Moss, who tells us the disease was discovered thanks to cranky gas station mechanics. The Nuggets still haven't officially announced the Orlando Woolridge trade to Detroit. But just an old TV guy. <laughs> it was only fitting in the last ball game of the year. It was a microcosm of the CU season. To me, you know, I'll always be a Channel 4 guy. And for 18 years, Mark McIntosh was a Channel 4 guy, from 1988 to 2006. On air, covering Colorado sports teams from the CU Buffs to the Broncos to the Rockies, Westward once named him Denver's best TV sportscaster. Hey, man, why aren't you doing sports anymore? This year, he was diagnosed with something called amyloidosis, a rare disorder causing damage to his kidneys. I've got a formidable foe inside my body. He began feeling poorly a year ago, but chalked it up to being 65. Old man stuff, he thought. But one day he stopped into his regular Denver gas station to yuck it up with Steve Sutherland, one of the mechanics. Sure enough, here comes Steve, you know, out from underneath the hood of some car, and he goes, you look like bleep. Looks like your face has fallen off your head. He sincerely was saying, you look like McIntosh drove straight to his doctor, and blood tests revealed the rare disease. McIntosh's kidneys were failing. Who knows how much longer I might have just put it off, and it, it could have been worse. Here I am with a non-curable bone marrow disorder. His weeks are now marked by regular three and a half hour dialysis sessions and chemo treatments. While he can live with amyloidosis, he knows it will shorten his life. So often. Life does not go the way we plan. I, you know, I didn't, didn't ask for this. With deep roots in the community, as an advocate for various charitable causes. If we grow stronger in our bodies, I promise you, we're gonna grow stronger in our minds and we're gonna grow stronger in our spirits. McIntosh is writing a blog to raise awareness, chronicling his fight with amyloidosis, a disease that has helped him prioritize how he spends his time. It's made me and my, my wife and family, you know, um, what's important? One thing that was important, going back to that corner gas station and thanking old Steve the mechanic for his blunt observation. And I just want you to know thank you. you. McIntosh says right now he feels good, but the eternal sports guy says what he's up against is a game changer. I'm Brian Moss, covering Colorado First. And that disease, by the way, is diagnosed in just three to 4,000 people in the U.S. each year. So Mark says he's really hoping by talking about this, it will lead to more research and more early detection.